Hey you guys, welcome to the snapshot update of 20W07A with your host me, Wintertooth100, and today I want to very quickly just go over some of the new features for this new unexpected snapshot. There's some pretty neat things and we finally got some features we were expecting last time, and we have them this time. Very quickly, I would like to just go over some of the stuff from last time and confirm, like, Enchanted Diamond is still... Uh, losing its enchantments when you upgrade it to netherite for example so I haven't been able to find any changes from the last snapshot to this one regarding all of the old stuff additionally uh, if you still have a protection for piece of armor and a protection for and feather falling for boots you can still drop a hundred and three blocks without uh, you know, dying you make it down to half a heart, but you, you still survive, and I've also confirmed that this is working in 115 too. I do not know when they added in such an extreme feather fall uh, capability. It, it, it's, it's ridiculous. Endermen in this snapshot have also been updated. They can no longer pick up netherrack, but they can now pick up both forms of the nylium blocks. I tested this in the nether on top of the nether, and brought in a whole bunch of the new blocks in giant slabs with hundreds of endermen and these are the only two blocks they would pick up i could not get them to pick up any other form of the new blocks you may have spotted this out of the corner of your eye as well but you can now officially make a beacon out of netherite blocks and you can select power upgrades with the netherite ingots And there we go. Now we got the speed boost. I haven't yet tested this, so we will test this later in this video. But apparently you can now make a wither out of both the sand soul and sand soil uh, variants. So we'll be trying that later. If you spawn in one of the new piglins, you'll notice that they are shaking. Kind of like how zombies shake when they're in the water for too long. And if we wait long enough, they will turn into zombified pigmen. And it doesn't take too long, actually. I was I was rather surprised with how quickly they transform. It's I I really wasn't expecting that. The Hoglin have functionality now as well. Uh, it's rather fantastic. When you hit them, you notice their legs and ears don't flail all over the place, so that that's a big bonus. But additionally, you can now breed them with the crimson. What is this? Crimson fungi. That's it. You can breed them, and they'll make little babies. Uh, I've been in this world for a while and haven't seen these two grow, so I'm not sure if these guys are capable of growing up. But additionally, they do not like the warp fungi. I really can't tell too much of a difference here, but they, st they, they still attack you, even though they're supposed to not like this stuff. So maybe you gotta throw it or, or something. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why these guys uh, aren't responding to this the way... Uh, it's, it shows on the website. And if we head into the nether, you'll see I've set up a little platform in here so we can do some further testing. The piglins are scared of blue fire, so that's a great way to keep them away. Make a base with blue fire. You see he's freaking out. He's actually trying to run away from it. They are also freaked out by the zombie pigmen because as we now know, uh, zombie pigmen are just zombie versions of piglins. So that's a pretty neat feature. Additionally, the piglins will occasionally attack our test subjects here, the hoglins. So if we break this out and hopefully get this guy's attention. There we go. Oh my goodness. There was like a two minute wait there where this guy just would not see our friend here. But they will be aggressive and seemingly they will occasionally just ignore the fact that the hoglins are around. Admittedly, I haven't slain too many piglins, but so far the only drop I've gotten is a crossbow and nothing else. So I'm not sure if they will be getting more drops soon, but additionally, these guys, neither the piglins or the hoglins seem to care about turtle eggs, so they won't be attracted to that for any sort of farms in this version. The hoglin, on the other hand, if you slay it, it has a chance to drop raw pork chops and leather. Seems to be one leather per slain hoglin, as I've only defeated three of them and I only have three leather. Fun new feature with these guys, we are not wearing any armor currently, and if we go into survival mode, you'll notice they're drawing their crossbows 
but as soon as we put on the gold armor, they stop caring about us. That is, until we try to look into a chest that's near them. And then they will get aggro all over again. You can also trade with the piglins by throwing a gold ingot at them. I'm not sure of everything that they will throw us, but I have received now three different items and you can seemingly just keep throwing stuff at them and they will just keep dropping things for you. All right, I have traded two stacks of gold ingots to the piglins and this is everything that they gave me. Absolutely everything that was given to me for two stacks of gold ingots. You can see we get both kinds of mushrooms. Uh, we only, we got both kinds of warp f uh, fungi. We got the fire charge, magma creams, ender pearls. You can even get obsidian. So there's even a roundabout way of uh, creating a portal back out of here. Uh, they give you flint, but they don't give you any iron. So you can't actually have a way of like creating a way to light the obsidian portal but it's, it's it's a start you get a bunch of soul sand not soul soil from what i can tell and i imagine you can probably also get the crimson nylium if they give you the warped nylium but this is everything i could get for two stacks the piglins are also hostile towards skeletons wither skeletons to be specific though they seem to be about as active there they go. About as active in hunting them down as they are with the hoglins. It's kind of hit or miss. Additionally, the website says that baby piglins are not as dangerous, but they can be mischievous, so watch your back. I do not know what that means, and I could not get this guy to do anything. At first I thought maybe he was going to pickpocket you, but uh, I haven't been able to lose anything out of my inventory sitting in this cage with him. The piglins and hoglins spawn in the crimson forests. You can see here we have some of the piglins. I haven't spotted any hoglins. I've been looking around for a while. Haven't been able to spot any of those. But I did notice that outside of the crimson forest, you still get normal zombie pigmen spawns. So I imagine this will help to keep the piglins within their biomes if at the borders of all of the forests there's going to be pigmen which they are scared of they also say that it's a piglin civilization however if you use the locate command there is no new entry within this list that suggests that there would be a new sort of village in the nether perhaps that is something that is going to show up in the future if not that's a great thing that they should probably add that would be fantastic and very briefly we still don't have a fix for the instant change between the atmospheres from the red to the blue. I'd really like to see this one get fixed. I wish it would have been in this one. You can see we're on top of the nether now and I got a big slab here of the warped planks. This is where I was testing out endermen and they were not picking up certain materials. But we're going to see if this will summon in both of the withers now. Um, I left these blank because if you listen, my game sounds are on. You can hear those breaking, but there are no game sounds now for Soul Sand and Soul Soil. So that is definitely a bug that will be getting fixed. But for now, let's get our skulls on there. This one should work just fine. Oh yeah, this one is brand new. Oh yeah. I wonder if there will be a difference between the two at some point. Having used the slash kill command. Both still drop nether stars, so that's promising. And that is everything I have been able to find and confirm since this snapshot released today. There's a whole list of bug fixes that are on the website. I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, there are a bunch of minor little things, so I'm not going to go over them. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, share with your friends, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one.